Hey everybody, Will here from EduCenter, and uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different for this channel. Now normally we cover like a whole range of education topics, whether it's in just current trends in education, predictions, how-to videos, doing full-on classes, um, it's all education. But another form of education is actually working specifically with tools, and this is something that I do on my other channel. Uh, Chaska the Husky. Now it morphed from DIY with Chaska to more just dog videos, but go back and check out those old videos. They're really cool. Anyways, let's get to what we're doing today. Today we're going to be restoring this craftsman joiner right here. Now my father-in-law gave me this jointer like, what, like three or four years ago? And the problem is it's always been, well, it's rough around the edges. This thing, he, I believe he bought new. Maybe he bought it used, I can't remember, um, in like the 60s or 70s. So it has been a long time since this thing has seen any uh, TLC. So we are going to try and restore this guy. We're going to use a whole host of different techniques, which are very beneficial. Uh, and maybe we'll talk about some education concepts along the way. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, definitely helps out as we're trying to get closer to that thousand uh, subscriber mark. Check out my other channel, too. I'll put a link in the description to Chaska the Husky. Again, that one's a lot more just like fun dog videos. Good way to waste time. So definitely check that out. All right. Well, let's get started. So here it is. This thing is heavy. I'll put it that way. Uh, but everything's in pretty good condition. I mean, it still runs. There's a new motor and it's belt driven. But when we're looking at this and how we're going to clean it, there's going to be a few steps we need to do. I'm going to have to essentially disassemble out of this. Probably. Spring mechanism in there? The spring me mechanism right here. We want to get this kind of all nice and cleaned out. So we'll use the air compressor first. And then we got a few bolts we'll probably have to sit in WD-40, loosen those up, and serial number right there. And then, yeah, we can really kind of start scrubbing it down. Now, for the exterior cleaning on this guy, really heavy. It's going to be really simple. It's just WD-40 and steel wool. That's all it is. And this stuff works great for cleaning any sort of shop equipment. In fact, uh, I think it was Adam Savage on one of his videos, he briefly mentioned it and I started doing this. Anytime you work in your shop, before you leave, you should, any steel surface, spray this down. Water displacement is what WD stands for, so it's going to keep that moisture off of there. It's going to keep your tools looking shiny and brand new. Now the steel wool is great for lifting a lot of this junk here, like I can see a paint can was set up here and paint was spilled on it all sorts of stuff. That's just going to make it look nice. You can use this on your current equipment too, even if it's brand new shiny steel. This is going to keep it super clean. Uh, so order of operations for this, let's spray it all down, blow it all out. Give it just a nice little cleaning, just a little dusting first. Uh, spray a lot of the bolts so we can take those apart. Maybe take a few photos for reference so I can put this thing back together. Then we can start cleaning each piece individually. It's very important 
if you've never done any work like this before, to uh, always keep your bolts matching as you take them apart. Otherwise you're gonna have a lot more fun trying to uh, piece everything back together. So yes, my camera died and um, I went ahead and I still took apart everything just to finish the job up. There wasn't too much left to do with it. Uh, and I've sorted everything out, put all of my bolts in a single box because you don't want to lose anything when you're doing this. And um, I, I cleaned up the shop, that's all you missed. So now I'm going to put these guys in a little bit of a WD-40 bath here. Just get them soaking so we can clean them up better. I have a toothbrush here that's perfect for getting those little crevices on stuff. We're gonna try and clean these main tops here. Uh, everything else looks to be in pretty good order. Um, I just wanna get everything looking nice, shiny, and clean. or milling any part you know don't be afraid to uh, use as much fluid as possible but it seems to be working Basically, I've gotten this all aligned. I cleaned up the shop again. Everything's washed, so let's get these in place. Thank you. 
All right, um, so the problem I'm finding now is this piece here, my little turning mechanism, doesn't always turn this properly, so I might have to get a new little hex bolt in there, um, or hex screw in there. However, my issue with this was that these were not all properly tightened down, so I was missing a bit, and then it was all wonky. So let's flip this guy over. And now you can see, got a flat, pretty flat surface here. I'm gonna raise this guy up and it'll start pulling off correctly uh, the wood that you run through it. And this. There we go. It's right there. Put that in place. We're zeroed off. We're good to start using this really old craftsman joiner. There's just a few little more cleanup things I'm going to go through and clean up the side a little better. Um, but that's it. That's all there was. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can always get the latest content from Edge of Center.